you move one fret, you've got a half step. If you move two frets, you've got a whole step. And if you move three frets, you've got a minor third. And that's what we're talking about here is the minor third. And it's built up the seventh degree of the scale. So once you get to the bottom of the scale, you can always just step up to your root, which is your, your starting tone. So, uh, for example, if I was on F sharp, I'd actually move back one fret to start that diminished scale. So it'll always resolve one fret higher, and that's a real big thing to get, because if you don't know where you're going to go with it, what's the point? So, um, but basically, I'm going to start on the first fret, I'm going to move in minor thirds, meaning that I'm going to go first fret, move three frets higher to the fourth fret. If I were to show you um, in a linear fashion, we'd be moving then from the fourth fret to the seventh fret. Three frets again. Three frets, three frets, three frets. Well, that's what I'm doing here, but I'm just stepping up a fret. So that note is the same, okay? So we're moving three frets higher every time. When I cross to the other string, you don't see the three fret movement there, but that is a three fret movement. So we're moving three frets all the time. Basically your scale always, or your fingering, always steps up one fret. So then I go, so it's index to pinky, and then index, I step up one fret, index to pinky, I step up a fret again, index to pinky, I step up a fret, fret again, index to pinky. Then now between the third and second strings, I have to jump two frets, not one. So I jump from the fourth fret on the third string to the sixth fret on the second string. With a three fret movement, and then I step up only one fret again, of course. That difference of the tuning between the third and second string is going to force you to step one extra fret. So you're always stepping up a fret, but between the third and second strings, you're going to jump two frets, not one, but two. Another cool lick that I learned uh, from Randy Rhodes was that if you could just add your second finger and your third finger respectively, and when I mean that on the first time up or on the sixth string, you add the second finger. On the next string, you add the third finger. On the next string, you add the second finger. Then the third finger. Two fret jump, second finger. First string, third finger. a nice little, uh, gives you more notes to play with, I guess you'd say. But once again, that diminished scale is just all composed of minor notes. It resolves up one fret, wherever you want to go with it. So for example, again, if you're at the fifth fret on the fifth string, you're going to step back a fret. Thanks for watching. Brian Forstall, 80, gmail.com.